CBSD with you, tutorials on gaming. Before we start, if this is your first time to the channel and you would like to learn more about FreeBSD and the journey to a better desktop and server, then please hit subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss out. If you've ever wanted to create your own music station online for people to listen to or a podcast streaming service, you can do so with FreeBSD quite easily. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to install Icecast which is the streaming server, a source client, in this case, ISIS, and a listening client, which is your Commodore Garden Firefox. Right, first we're gonna do, we're gonna search for Icecast. So if we PKG, search, Icecast, and you get two options. The bottom one, the KH branch, is where additions have been made from user feedback that cannot be included in the main branch for one reason or another. So the one that we're going to use is the main branch one, which is just Icecast. And select yes. You can install these via ports if you wish and have some configuration, but we're just going to keep them as packages. It makes it easier. Now we add Icecast enable to the rc.conf using sysrc. So sysrc icast underscore enable equals yes. Just clear the screen. Now we're going to configure Icecast. And if we change to the directory which holds the configuration files, what we need to do is make a copy of the supplied config file. So cp for copy, Icecast XML dot sample. And we'll change that to Icecast XML. So you always keep the sample in case you make a mistake on this one. Now if we just edit it, we're just going to change a couple of uh, entries. These two here, well these three here actually. We'll change the source password, which supplies the music or the audio. We're just going to change it to source password. Now I've done that so I can remember what I'm doing, but you obviously will change it to something more appropriate. But you've always got to remember what you've put in, so it might be handy just to make a note somewhere. And we're going to change the relay password to relay password. Again, I'm doing it so I can remember, but you may wish to change that. It's probably highly uh, encouraged to change that. But whatever you do, just don't leave it at default. Uh, we're going to leave admin at admin and we'll change this to admin password. Still scrolling down to see if there's anything else. Yeah, we we'll change this one. And as we've done with the other ones, I'll just put other source password. Right, if you go down to where it says mount type, one thing that you might want to change before we leave is where it says example-complex.org, you may wish to change that to something to reflect the, the stream or the service that you're running. So in this case, I'm just going to change it to freebsd.org. And then I need to remove these um, comment marks. So that the change owner of nobody and no group is uh, available. Because we'll uh, need them later and I'll show you. Right, now we need to make some directories. And these are for the log files that we uh, inevitably will get. For Icecast. I'm going to change owner to nobody call on no group as you saw in the configuration file. And we will start Icecast on 
hopefully things will work. Yes, I think. We're just going to get some warnings. Um, the location hasn't been configured. But that, that won't prevent us using it. And we're just checking that Icecast is actually running. So PKG install ICES. And what this essentially does is feed the streaming server the music that you want to be played. And next we need to set up some groups and users who can uh, access it. So it says already exists because I've already gone through this step once before. Just to check it worked. Again, user add, group add. Change the password or set a password. So in this case, it's going to be from what we put in the configuration file early, and it's going to be source password. Or whatever you put down in the configuration file. All done. Now as you make a directory, again, uh, for logging purposes, and it previously uh, was made as a test. Change ownership to ISIS and ICE. Now what we're going to do is that we're going to switch user to ISIS and we're going to change over to their directory. And this is really where the music is going to be stored, or the podcast, or whatever you want to be broadcast. We're going to make hmm, a couple of folders, a couple of directories, the music and configuration. Kind of self-explanatory, but if we just check that the two uh, directories are being made. And we need to copy over a configuration file like we did for Icecast. So if we copy the example one for ISIS. Over to the conf subdirectory and change it to configuration.xml. Now we're just going to edit that. Now this is where you tell it where the music is stored and other kind of essential things. So again, if you go to the password section and you change it to what was put in the Icecast config and change this to FreeBSD, checking that we're still in the correct directory, uh, which we are. We need to fetch a piece of music to test. It could be anything really in OG format, as Icecast really only deals with OG format. Um, but I will show you in the description box a, a method to change your MP3 files into OG. So once we've grabbed this, I'm just going to shorten down the name of it to um, you know, something more manageable. I'm just going to call it test. And there we go. Okay, let's go up one uh, directory and we'll see what we've got so far. So there's the conf and music subdirectories. Now we're going to go into conf and we're going to list the configuration file. So what we need to do now is that we need to create the playlist. So if we list the audio that's in the music directory 
in which case everything that's an org file pipe that into playlist dot text so we're just going to check what's in the playlist and it just tells you what audio it is and where it is so you really could put it in different directories not just in this particular one if you had it installed on a main hard drive then that would do it now we're just going to check it works so if you put ISIS and then the configuration file it should get up and going and we'll leave that running just to test it works now using any browser you want here it's on the same machine if you go to local host or whatever you want to call the server call on 8000 it should log on to the icecast server and there we go i can't play this music because i was unsure of the licensing um, aspect of it and you can change the stream name you can change the description you can change everything to suit what you need and the file at the top is now playing it could be a whole group of files in which case it will play sequentially and there you go again to change the mp3 files into organ to play them via icecast please see the description box below so i'll put in a little uh way to change it the steps in this video made perfect sense to me when i was doing it but looking back uh yeah it's uh i could have explained it slightly better if anyone is confused or gets lost then i will leave a step-by-step -step guide in the description box below if you want to see more videos like this then hit that like button and to make sure you don't miss out please consider subscribing as this really helps me help you Thank you.